And welcome to Gunpla Reviews, where it is myself versus my shelf. 200 model kits, once again, in the queue of reviews to continue through. Today's challenger is our first boss fight. The legendary and well-praised AMS-123X-X Moon Gundam Neo Zeon Prototype Mobile Suit. The easily number one high grade from the year of our Bandai Lords. 2018. Now surely everybody and grandma have reviewed this kit, but it's my turn for it is my goal to review everything that I own. Probably excluding SSDs, but I digress. Here we have the traditional back page. Dual language nowadays showing off the kit, its poses, and its armaments, as well as the production line and at this juncture, we now know we're getting this purple one, the... What does that say? Varguil? Varguil? We're getting that NP Bandai. The cover of our kit. And on the back side we have our color, which it did come with the stand. I totally stole that and repurposed it for one of my Ghost Horror kits. Assembly and posing of the Psycho Frame Fin Shield. I can't remember what that's called. Psycho plate, thank you. And then uh, usage of the arm pieces such as the throwing boomerang thingy, uh, mounting for the shield, the weapons. And let us come over to the other side as I fumble with the thing. We have our usual warning, directions, and uh, the runners. We start assembly here with the body, move on to the head, over to the shoulders and arms, continuing separate left and right arm motion, down to the feet, the legs, both left and right legs separately, the waist unit, body assembly, and then backpack so that we might mount the psycho plate. Yes, excellent. Get this out of the way. Manual, be gone. For we must get to the main feature the Moon Gundam himself. Uh, where is. I need my notes so I know in what order to proceed because I am a fool. So, I need to take this off. So, we're going to rub that note off of the thing get my notes mounted up proper or not I don't know whatever there we go now I can see my notes over on the wall excellent this model kit let's take a look at this there are no stickers the first high grade to have zero stickers everything is well, I'm not gonna say color accurate but uh, color separated very efficiently green pieces inside here and especially showing through, can I get a good angle on it, back here on the back of the head. And otherwise, not a single sticker around. So we begin with articulation at the head. Which will get a full exorcist twist right in there. Uh, all the way down. Uh, doesn't seem to want to look up. It's a little side-to-side -side action and some of that you know neck jerking motion the giggity giggity over here at the arms we get shoulder up arm all the way up to top and at the other arm we get unblocked full rotation as well as up here at the shoulder at the arm we get more than 90 degrees which is excellent and typical ball joint hands nothing special going on in the hands also a little bit of shoulder coverage right there i don't know what to call that that is not a sabaton sabatons are down here sabaton but we will get to that at the waist 
we get a little bit of back bend looks like but no forward ab crunch motion the waist is very much blocked by everything going on around the waist front skirts are very much designed to be separated so that gets all the way out of the way without popping out side skirts barely move and well some butt flap action but it pops off but that's very good because it gets out of the way because mounted in there is the extra mm, stand thing it I'm gently wiggling it out plugs right into the back there but I guess since that's a three millimeter hole you could plug that in directly if you so chose to do so I like that more so we're gonna hide that back away with front skirts out of the way we get both front and back bend but I've knocked off the back skirt so you get a split excellent at the side due to the design of the legs here you'll get well I mean if we rotate I say if we rotate the side skirts but they don't rotate let me peek in there no they do not rotate there's no rotation so I wonder why does it feel like the left leg stretches out further than the right that's a pretty decent split right there though tell you what at the knee we get this pretty average like not even 90 degree bend at first but then you get a little more to get just past 90 kind of a small amount barely 90 degree bend then here at the foot this is where I'm gonna give it you know take points away if I gave it a point rating I don't like the way these feet sit like you get a whole full range of motion out of it preposterous amounts of motion but that means at least for me when I set it down on its feet every now and again I swear the feet like shift forward or back even though that's not happening it feels like it is something shifts and it just feels wrong like perhaps it's my build perhaps me but the legs feel a little like loose there it was I felt it as I touched it the legs shifted like that that I don't really I'm not feeling it it makes me feel weird but still very efficient and effective so today as a mild disclaimer and I should have said this at the beginning you will hear the AC it is cold and I am not allowed to cut the AC off for today so hopefully I'll leave the background music just loud enough to drown that out well, let's put this back in its place and talk about what he brings to the table of course we have the legendary psycho frame this has many a way of mounting back here on the back we have multiple arms this arm here pulls out it's got a second point of articulation right there and you can mount that any which way there's a slight little tab there and a sort of like ratcheted um, set so you can mount it as you see fit however you like to pose and adjust it as well as getting a good a range of motion out of it. See the leg, the feet shifted again. I feel it as I play with it. Umbrella. Moon Gundam umbrella mode. Excellent. But it also comes with one alternative peg, or I guess arm. I'm going to take this arm away after we fold him back in and bring this arm to the table, which is a bit more extended. It is a solid piece. Plug that right in, into the same side. Unfortunately, it is only designed for one side. That way, it is very stable when you open this up. 
And for a moment, let's take a look at this. Each segment attaches on its own and I guess if you get stuck it does pull itself back so it doesn't look like it's separated. These hook in here and in some cases here on the side these hook in together and they plug. Now if you pull these out just a bit you've got enough gap in there that you can get a fair bit of curve or if you like Make sure everybody is squished together, not fitting to fall out. And it's a bit more stiff, flat, and secure. But with it in full exposition, you will plug that into your favorite hole at your favorite angle. And with the strength and power of this particular arm, you get that crescent moon situation. And here I go fussing about the feet again. Like the feet are not strong. As I pick it up and set it back down, everything feels weird. It just feels like it doesn't sit. The feet don't cooperate with me and what I've got going on. Of course, with the psycho plate, that makes it very back heavy. And you'll want to get your favorite action base involved. To which you may, and let's extend this arm out, you may choose to either mount this via the action base in the back, which I suppose if we were using the regular or the new action base 5 this would be more appropriate, but I prefer 2's because I'm insane and I must have consistency. We'll plug that into the aforementioned booty stand and set him on high which is actually too high for the camera bring him back now set him back our boy the move also comes with more effect parts particularly for this here these are the throwing blades. I know it's very hard to see in my hand, so I'll try to bring this up. These fully rotate around 360 degrees, and you will plug in your very tiny, very small effect parts into those sides. Although I think that they're, it's, very, it's very particular about which side goes where. Let me bring this up closer to my face to find it. Yes, okay, I was inserting them incorrectly. These don't fit in flat, rather they fit in sideways. Let's see, like so. Just like that. And then uh, with another stand, you can have this displayed outward in a throwing position or if you set these like so, you can put it back in the arm as extra melee defense. And it does fit in both directions, so however you like to have your effect parts facing, you have them facing. Bring, bring him in a little closer. Like so. Mounted on the back here. Excuse me, mounted back here. Is our handle for our saber axe thingy? What does the manual call you? Beam tomahawk. Not getter tomahawk, just beam. This will slide into the front like so. And if you have it assembled correctly, this tip right here should look like it is emitting a beam from the front as well as here and that's how you get that move that was always a wonder until i actually looked at this and figured it out i wondered how the sananju and the sasabi did that now i know unfortunately our handle 
is too thick to simply slide into the hand. So you will have to space the back plate of the hand off. I'm going to pull that off screen to do so. Before putting it back in, you know, standard motion pops right into the hand like so. Our boy also comes with two additional hands. And once we pop the saber hand out, the beam shotgun with its own trigger hand. And that, as usual, plugs right in there. No problem. Now, what we have left over are a few other pieces here. I will need to go and check on the manual, but I believe that that piece there that I just set down, as soon as I get the psycho frame off, is probably the action base adapter. Yep. The explicit action base adapter so that you can mount the psycho frame onto your stand of choice. I do not have any available action base for us to grab at. I tend to reserve those for non high grade kits. But as well, we have, and this is going to be more efficient if I sandwich them right back together. And just to show that, you'll see a lot of like tabs in there. Just line them boys up and everything should squish right into place. If you don't like these standing out, they fold right in. And almost each section has a very similar interlocking scenario. So you can mix and match se sections. Back over here, if we take this piece out, <coughs> you'll see that we have two of these pieces. These two pieces here are for mounting into the forearms. Inside the forearm, you have another three millimeter peg. You'll take the longer edge to slide that in, which if I'm correct, really only goes one way. The other side just doesn't fit. So you'll want it facing towards the hand. And with that, you will be able to plug your shield into the arm. Now this is the full weight of the shield, so you are surely asking for a hard time with that. But you can use the psycho plates as a shield with as many or as few as you like. You will just have to use these two sides here that have the action base connection or the three millimeter peg. And of course, those are also available on the inside. Unfortunately, and I, I say that like with an asterisk as an unfortunately, like unfortunately is already its own asterisk, but then it's like double. Not all pieces are used. For some reason, you have two additional pieces left over from your runners. And these are pieces that are used in the assembly inside of the psycho plates. They're just the rotating parts uh, that hook into one another. These pieces here. It was just probably more efficient on the runners in production to have the two extra ones since as usual you get you know the mirrored runners with the slight you know variation there so in conclusion with as many pieces that I'm leaving on the table let's see if I can't get everybody in frame the extra effect parts the extra hands the joints the extra pieces the other arm action base assembly and the psycho plate and you're just going to stand here and represent the uh, action base for that the kit will come with this is assuredly worth your dollar and Xeon says if you haven't already fund it
I bought this, I think I was just late to the party two months after it came out because I wanted to find it in the wild and it wasn't until a local convention, which happens at the end of the year. So this is a whole 11 months late, <laughs> that I finally got my hands on the Moon Gundam and then working through my backlog in order as is my nature to do, I finally arrived here now. And it's great. It's still as great as it was hyped up then. It's just, I'm late to the party. But it's better to be late to the party than never at the party at all. Get you a Moon Gundam, unless for some reason you really don't like this big psycho plate. This is pretty bulky. It's sizable and heavy, and I guess because I played with it some, it's, it might be a little loose. You know, from playing with and curving and posing and the photo shoot, etc. and so forth. The, the psycho plate is unwieldy, and I am a bit upset with the feet. But it is most assuredly the top high grade in 2018. And I can't wait to see what the more popular guys say about the best high grade of 2019. Did I already pick it up? Ow! I'm slow. I'm late to the party. But I do thank y'all for watching. And as always, Sexy on.